Okay, here we go. Let's begin the stitching process. This is a regular pair of jeans. I've already clipped the extra fabric out from the inside. It's exactly three quarters of an inch. It's the same amount on the outside. We do that so when the fabric is turned like there, there's less of a bump when you're stitching on the machine. So if we turn the fabric over like there, and then you turn it again, like there, we can almost see where the gene uh, process is going to begin. Okay? Okay, so I've went ahead now and I've positioned by folding the fabric under. It's at the machine. We're going to put it right on the edge. It's less than an eighth of an inch on the edge. And right at that point, we're going to begin the stitching process. You don't need uh, to reverse stitch at this point. Just stitch straight through. Okay, let's continue stitching. Continue stitching all the way until you've gone around to the point exactly where you met. At this point, you would like to activate the reverse mechanism on your machine by pressing it and allowing a tack. This helps to keep the, the tread intact and it stops it from um, unraveling easily, okay? There you have it. You've just completed your first hem. It's a very easy process and anyone can master this eye. Thank you. Okay, last but not least, there's a pressing process. Those chalk marks that was placed need to be removed from the jeans, so you stick them iron and it will steam to those areas. A regular household iron is, will work just as fine. No need to have an industrial iron to get this done. At the same time, while you're there, you can probably neaten up the jeans, make sure everything looks really good. Just get some light there. Nice. Looks good. Uh, sometimes it helps if you can turn it over. Make sure you get the edges tucked out like that. And there you have it.